Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabatu fillah I thought it would be beneficial for us to go back over in a very brief fashion a very beneficial but brief treatise translated by our brother Mustafa George Hafizullah Ta'ala uh, a treatise of Imam bin Fawzan Hafizullah Ta'ala entitled The Methodology of the Salaf al Salih and the Ummah's Need for It and the reason being because it is a brief treatise something we can literally study out here in the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and something which is a reminder for us all and hopefully something beneficial for those who are really not aware of what it means to follow the madhab of the salaf or the minhaj of the salaf al-salih and those who do not understand who are the salaf al-salih what does it mean it's very important that we have an understanding because there's so many people so many claimants claimants to salafiyah to the da'wah to ahl sunnah but so few people know and understand what it means to follow the salaf al-salih or for what it means for a person to say that they are salafi the Imam started Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim he began with a subtitle who are the Salaf al-Salih and this is very important for us to know listen understand contemplate take this in so that we know what it means when we say the Salaf al-Salih are we from the Salaf the short answer is no we are not from the Salaf and by understanding these mustalahat, these, these terms, we can be on clarity and bayina. And that is because there are so many callers to everything. And there's a very well known caller who rejects calling one Salafi and we know there's countless but I can think of one particular one who's very famous very active in Dawah people from all over the world benefit from some of his lectures and, 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 and are, are in, um, encouraged and people embrace Islam at his hands but however what's problematic is his Elm that is not taken from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam meaning that he doesn't have real fiqh fi deen the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said man yiradallahu bi khayran yafaqu fi deen whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion so there are callers out there who don't really understand the religion and I'll give you an example and why I'm even mention it about this particular individual this caller because this particular caller spoke ill and probably has on countless occasions about Salafis and said one of the most ajhal statements about Salafis that one can imagine from amongst the many jahil statements that people make but the problem is this person is a person who people believe take knowledge from they believe this person has some knowledge they ask him questions they ask fatwa from these individuals in the west in the east wherever they may be and they are dhal mudil they misguide they are misguided and they misguide others so this particular individual was asked or mentioned about salafis and he said that this is really this is a paraphrase they said this is really stupid people calling themselves salafis because Salaf is talking about ancestors and it means those who are already dead in the grave okay this is the most ignorant of statements because when we talk about Salafiyah 
and the son of Saleh, as we're going to get into immediate in this treatise, we have to understand these various mustalahat, these different Islamic terms. Salafia, in general, refers to the da'wah of Ahl Sunni Tiwil Jama'ah. And it refers to, when we say we associate ourselves with Salafiyah, when I say, for example, that I'm Salafi, does not mean I'm saying I'm from the Salaf. So we have to understand these terms so we don't fall into the traps of people who are even calling to Islam who don't even understand this, who are actually kind of leaders, take, take leadership roles and as spokesmen for Islam, but they don't even know. And so they are not upon guidance in these matters nor should they be referred to in these matters. So the point being the habit of Allah is that Salafia, or when we say that we're Salafia, it means that we are, this is a descriptor to describe a person who adheres to the Quran and the Sunnah and the methodology of understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. So that they're striving, Salafis can be in contemporary times, and they, as 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 we're discussing, that uh, and they are basically claiming and striving to adhere to a methodology which is an ancient methodology as far as Islam is concerned, because it is the sabil of the Salaf Saleh. The Salaf Saleh refers to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in at the uh, rasihim the, you know, the, the head of them is the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in then we have the tabi'in a tabi'i is someone who who met a Sahabi on Islam and died upon Islam this is what we mean by a tabi'in and more specifically those who took ilm from the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and the Itba'a Tabi'een, the third generation, refers to those people who met Tabi'i, met some of those second generations. And the evidence for the Salaf and following the Sabil of the Salaf and the Fadl of the Salaf is in a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said, the best people is those of my generation, then who follow them, then those who follow them. So letting us know the first three generations. That's what we mean, the Salaf Salafa Saleh. And the Salafis are those who try to adhere to their understanding and try to apply their understanding even in contemporary times as far as especially Aqidah and methodology of Dawah and and uh, their fiqh and, and all matters of the faith of Islam but of course there are many issues especially when it comes to fiqh you know in mu'amalat and how we deal with one another because of contemporary times all the things we face the new trials and tribulations the new technology then the world is entirely different than the time of the Prophet والسلام, so we have to uh, have fiqh fideen fiqh fideen we're referring back to those principles that are laid down by the Salaf those issues of itiqad would do, do not change the uh, principles of aqidah do not change and it requires ijtihad of the ulama uh, it requires striving, juristic striving, to come to a ruling about, for example, a particular issue. For example, the use of cameras. This requires, because the Prophet ﷺ, during his time, we had no cameras. But however, you have many general texts, which are very clear, about picture makers and that them being cursed. And so the ulama of contemporary times will look at that issue, well, now we have a thing such as a, a video camera or a camera. When is it permissible to use? Is it permissible to use? They, these questions will be answered through ijtihad. Is, it, uh, is, it, uh, is a video camera like a camera? And is a camera what is meant by those uh, texts, those classical texts of the Prophet ﷺ? All of those things are looked at by the scholars. And this is the ijtihad. So then they make a ruling, a hukum, according to their understanding of those classical texts to apply it. Those people who make ijtihad in this manner, 
according to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and the Sabil al Mu'minin, the Salaf al Saleh, then we refer to them as Salafi. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, upon his family and all his companions for that which precedes him about. The topic of this lecture is very important. It is, as, as you have heard and has been announced, the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh, the pious pre predecessors, and the Ummah's need for it. Meaning the Ummah needs the Sabila, the pious predecessor. Predecessors didn't need us. We need them. We need their Sabil because they were the closest to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as we mentioned, the Salaf al-Saleh being uh, the Sahaba, the Asl of the Jama'ah, we need to follow them. We need to follow their Sabil. The Prophet والسلام, made clear for us uh, about the Fadl of the Sahaba and about the about following the Sahaba. It's upon you my Sunnah and the Sunnah of the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin, meaning the four uh, Khalifat, Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiallahu ta'ala the Shaykh then said, what is intended by the term Salaf Saleh is the first generation of this nation. They were the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from amongst the Muhajirun, those who migrated from Mecca and the Ansar, those who were present in al Madina. Allah the Glorious and Mighty mentioned concerning them وَسَابِكُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَعْتَبُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَجْرِي تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And the first to embrace Islam from the Muhajirun, meaning those who migrated from Mecca and Medina, uh, and the Ansar, which were the residents of Medina, and who helped and gave aid to the Muhajirun, and also those who followed them exactly in faith, Allah is well pleased with them as they are well pleased with him. He has prepared for them gardens underneath which rivers flow to dwell therein, uh, meaning paradise uh, forever. That is the supreme success. success. The supreme success, Ahabat Tifilah, comes with following the Salaf al the path, the minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah, as this ayah illustrates. As-sabiquna al-awwalun, wa-sabiquna al-awwalun min al-muhajirin wal-ansar. That lets us know that the muhajirin and the ansar have fadl. They're mentioned in the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are the asal of the Salaf al so, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what tabu, wa, wa uh, uh, Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ اَعْتَبُهُمْ And those who follow them. So in the ayah, this is in the Qur'an, this is a nas Qur'aniyya that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear that those who follow the Salaf, those who follow their, their way, that they also will be the residents of Jannah. Inhabitants of paradise. That lets us know the Salaf al Saleh, the path of the Salaf al Saleh, the minhaj of the Salaf is a minhaj mubarakah, it's a blessed uh, methodology. It is the Sibila Mu'mineen, it's the path of the believers. It is the path of Jannah because Allah says so. And Allah the Almighty says, وَلِلْفُقَرَاءَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأَمْوَالِهِمْ يَبْتَغُونَ فَلًّا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا وَيَنْصُرُونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and there is also a share in this booty, meaning uh, the war booty, for the uh, poor immigrants who were expelled from their homes and their property, seeking bounties from Allah and to please Him. So they sought bounties from Allah and to please Allah. And helping Allah and His Messenger وسلم, such are indeed the truthful because they sacrifice their wealth, their lives, their property for their brothers in faith. Imam Fozan says, this verse is referring to those who migrated from Mecca. Then Allah stated concerning those who were present in Medina, and those who before them had homes in Al-Medina and had adopted the faith, love those who immigrate to them and have no jealousy in their breasts for that which they have been given and give them immigrants preference over themselves, even though they were in need of that. And whosoever is saved from his covetousness, such are they who will be the successful. This shows us the 
the fadl of the uh, the people of Medina who sacrificed and those who migrated to them and that they didn't have jealousy in their hearts and this is a lesson for us a lesson in tarbiyah a lesson in in um, in uh, edu- this is an educational lesson that has great immense benefit if we can remove the hatred and jealousy from our hearts from our brothers and sisters in Islam and seek the fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek to help and aid Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen this should be first and foremost you should not be jealous of your Muslim brothers and sisters oh so and so's given dawah they're so popular I want to see them destroyed I want to see them like this a'udhu billah Instead, you should be given da'wah. You should be thankful that Allah has given them uh, a fame if that's what Allah has given them and that they're reaching people and guiding people. But if they're misguiding people, then of course this is something different. But we're talking about wishing good for the people of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah who guide people to Kitabillah wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah mentioned concerning those who come after them, وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يُقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِيَخْوَانِ لَلَّذِينَ سَابَقُونَ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعُوا فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلٍ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَعُوفُ الرَّحِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those who come after them say, Our Lord forgive us and our brethren who have preceded us in faith and put not in our hearts any hatred against those who have believed. Our Lord, you are indeed full of kindness, most merciful. Next are those who came after them and sought knowledge from them from the following generation. Then those who followed them from the best generation, which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said concerning them. So here Imam Fawzan is talking about the tabi'in with tabi'a tabi'in, and that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, as we mentioned already, خيركم قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم. So in this narration, the Prophet alayhi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, the best of you is my generation, and then those who follow them, and then those who follow them. The narrator said, I do not know if he mentioned two generations after his generation or three. There, the Prophet, his companions, and the following two generations, distinguished time is called the time of the best generations. So those three generations, first three generations of Islam, is called the best uh, generations for the pristine Islam. This is the purest time of practice of Islam. Uh, and this is the Sabila, the this is the Salaf Asali, the time of the Salaf Asali. And it's because the Prophet said, Khairakum. He said, The best of you. Khairakum Qurni. The best of you is my generation. So that lets us know what? Because Ahlul Sunnah looks at the text from uh, in, uh, the most, uh, not uh, in, a, in a literal way, that they are the best. They're the best generation because the Prophet ﷺ said, Khairakum. He said, the best of you. He said, the best of you. So we say, the best of you. The narrator said, uh, then, these are the Salaf of this nation, which the Messenger of Allah ﷺ praised when he said, Khairakum qarni thum alladheena yalunuhum thum alladheena yalunuhum. The best of you is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Therefore, they are an example of this nation and their methodology is what this nation should adhere to in terms of belief, dealings, character, and in all affairs. Their methodology is taken from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah because they were close to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the time of revelation. They took directly from the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and thus they are the best generations and their methodology is the best methodology. It is for this reason that the Muslims are diligent in learning their methodology so that they can adhere to it, so we can practice. And because it is not possible to tread their path except after having knowledge, al-ilm qabla al wal amal, knowledge precedes na- actions, and al-ilm qabla al qawli statements and actions. Because it's not possible to tread their path except after having ilm, knowledge, knowing the path itself, learning it, and acting upon it. So Imam Fozan, it doesn't require de- uh, explanation. It's very clear. But what I want to say and highlight, Imam Fozan said, therefore they are the example for this nation, so the Salaf is an example for us, and their methodology is what this nation should adhere to, and then he mentioned in what? In terms of belief, uh, Aqidah, 
dealings, transactions means fiqh and mu'amalat, character, and in all affairs, ikhlaq. And I want to highlight this because some from our, amongst our brothers belittle having good manners towards people. They, belittle, they actually on their tongues belittle it. Not just that they have bad manners, but then some people actually belittle it and they talk about our ulama, and I'm going to mention this, Sheikh, uh, just like our Sheikh, Sheikh Ibrahim Raheli. Some people, they attacked him. They attacked him and they brought kalam and it was misunderstood, yes, his kalam was misunderstood by other mashaykh who refuted him because the sheikh, I've sat in under his beard and I've listened to what he says and he never said some of the claims they said about him. But he mentioned that manners is a part of the Salaf, Salafi minhaj and that the one whose manners are deficient, then that means some of their Salafi is deficient. But that does not negate that they are Salafi. This is the qawl, this is what Sheikh Ibrahim ibn Amr al-Rahili says. He says this, and he says it in his books, in his refutation of those who attacked him, and in his many dar durus. I've heard it with my own ears. And this is what I understood from that Sheikh. And so I want to mention, because here Imam Fozan is saying it, and that might not be enough for you. So uh, that's why I wanted you to know that. And the Prophet who's our, our messenger said, He said, there isn't a scale. Uh, there isn't a thing which weighs heavier in the scale of the believers except uh, more than husn al-khulq good manners. So that lets us know that's a sabil of mu'mineen. That's the path, sifat of the mu'min. You cannot belittle anything from the deen and just say, well, you know, that's, that's sort of important. That's not important. He's still Salafi. He's still this. Yeah, he may, he or she may be Salafi, but there's naqs in their, there's deficiency in their Salafi. There's deficiency in their Iman because that means they're not following the Salaf Perfect. They're not following, more importantly, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was the best of the Ummah, the best of the, of the, of the, of the creation, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. They're not following the way of the NBA. They're the best of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's creation of mankind. They were the best. They were the best in manners. So we want to take their examples. And I ask all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.